All right, click the links to join the channel, support the channel on Parlor or, or Parlor Patreon or uh, subscribe to the various other video links. So SS Kanye West buys Parlor. Allow me to welcome Mr. West to the far alt extreme. You know, it's funny they they uh, the globalist media uses all those uh, th those adjectives. I don't know. I failed English. All those uh, uh, those words to modify <laughs> to modify the right wing, but they don't use the same words for the left wing <laughs> ever. <laughs> it's weird, weird how the media, fair, impartial, and unbiased media, describing the far alt extreme Hugo Boss white sheet. Right wing, the party that that we are, we are the uh, the new face of the mixed race supreme people, which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> of course, it, of course, none of this makes sense. But if you're on the left wing, if you're in a such a left wing echo chamber of the mainstream media, and you're you know at CNN just snorting mountains of um of uh, C hydrochloride, it makes perfect sense that Candace Owens and Kanye West are the new leaders of the American Bund Party. So Roman salute for you guys. <laughs> the, it's just, it's how do you know you live in clown world? When you get a, a black couple of the new leaders of the Hugo Boss Party, oh, that's a pretty good indicator you live in clown world, or at least the straw man version of the clown world that the left wing says we are, that we're all we're all marching around in Hugo Boss. It's the, the mixed race Hugo Boss under those white sheets. It's like, did, did they even hear themselves? None of, nothing you say makes sense, you fucking weirdos. <laughs> yeah, you guys are all, you're all in the clan. So the, the black guys are also... Yeah, yeah, they're honorary members. Oh, okay. Well, there you see an honorary Aryan member. Um, welcome, welcome, brother. Welcome to the. You get the. Uh, you get the Roman hat with the the mohawk that says you're the leader or something. Um, so to the left wing, non uh, for the YouTube algorithm, I have to avoid colors. I'll say European people don't have agency. They're not capable of being anything other than Bolshevik slaves, useful idiots. You want to know how the mainstream media thinks about these non-Euro people? how desperate they are to deny them agency. They won't call people like him, um, I'll say dark-skinned supreme types. And I'm not saying they are, because all those terms are just Bolshevik control terms, all those istophobic terms that, are, oddly enough, have all been recently in invented, like when the ha within the past 100 years, all those, and some of them uh, within the past 20 years, uh, all those istophobic control terms um, to compel behavior, it's like first they create these shields, these terms. I don't want to say I'm on YouTube because I want to earn the dollar for the video. Um, and then after that, they use the media to entrench those terms in, in the public um, lexicon. Um, then they use them as shields and then they hide behind them and they commit acts of atrocities. And then they just raise these shields and you go, oh, yeah, it's just one group of people. Not, not, not that's just the phobic. Wait a minute. That word doesn't that word's not real. Because it doesn't apply to everyone. It just applies to one protected group that, that's hiding behind it. These are just Bolshevik control terms. The more often you, you point that out and you say, oh, this is just this is just like Frankfurt School, Saul Alinsky, Bolshevik uh, talking points. This is just propaganda brainwashing that you've, you've converted the NPCs into believing these terms. It's all just Bolshevik nonsense. The more often you say that, you bring those, that, those terms into the, um, the language, the, it will give you, you start giving your own shields. To, um, to look at these people because you can kind of dismiss, dismiss a lot of their arguments like, oh, yeah, it's a Bolshevik media. What do, you, what do you expect? The You know, it's the Lugan press type of stuff. So they still call non-white uh, people uh, European supremacists because they don't think that uh, they don't think that those people have any agency. And two, fundamentally, by now, you got to be kind of cognizant of the fact that they just hate European people. Like that's you got to be you got to be pulling your head out of the sand and look around and go, oh. They really, they really do just hate you just because, just because your country of origin. So non-European people are just puppets to them. They use them as swords and shields because there is no respect there. They're more like, they're more like pets to them. The difference in, I'll say these far alt extreme uh, identitarian groups of any tribe, um, any kind of color, of uh, of what the, you know the left straw man's use, some sort of identitarian groups, is that is that uh, they're more honest. They know where they stand with e each other. 
they can be they can just be upfront about it and they don't have to treat each other like pets it's like they can work together to accomplish goals even if the goals are ultimately to separate or or maybe not maybe they'll find common ground um in uniting against a a common enemy which is you know i always say like the far left and the far right the best thing you could do would be sit down talk smoke a jay and just talk 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 for hours without puppet masters telling you what you can't say and controlling you just get together in small groups and just start talking and talking and talking without someone telling you oh you can't say that's incorrect or no don't talk to them don't talk to them why they might change your mind with their skillful rhetoric oh yeah yeah we're such skilled debaters we're such big brains like I'm not hearing a whole, I mean, I'm just hearing normal people on the right. I, I'm not hearing people who are capable of brainwashing you. No, no, don't talk to them. Don't talk to them. They're secret geniuses, but they're also incompetent, stupid, and evil. But they'll brainwash you. They'll they'll tell you things like, oh, well, shouldn't I decide that for myself? No, 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 We'll decide it for you. Well, who are you to decide this information for me? Don't ask that question either. So also this, uh, I'm not going to be on YouTube for long. Also keep in mind that every everything the mainstream media tells you is a lie. They make no attempt at being fair and impartial. The mainstream media is not the media. It's propaganda. This is why you got to get on Odyssey, BitChute, and even Subscribestar and, and all these kind of alt, Gab TV and alt media. Um, everything mainstream does is propaganda. There's nothing in the mainstream that is trustworthy on, on, on the right or the left. It's all the same thing. They're literally the lying press. And yes, I'm aware of the historical usage of the Lucan press, but it's accurate. If it was accurate then, it's accurate now. A two plus two equals four, no matter who says it. Or if you know you have a, a funny mustache like Stalin, am I right? And before Lucan press, it was called yellow journalism. And that was way, way before those events. Because the set of conditions are the same in Samuel Clemens's day as well as now. People have always know that if you control the dissemination of information, then you control everything. So the worst people on earth are going to seek control of, of the dissemination of information so that they can, can, they can do other things without having a spotlight um, on them. As they shine the spotlight everywhere else, you know, grow the tall grass so the snakes can hide. Anyway, Twitter is the main platform. Uh, Getter, Parler, Truth, I think I am on Getter and Parler. I don't use them too often. And Minds, not, just not on there that often. Truth, um, those kind of sites are completely pointless because they're not free speech platforms. Gab, Post, Sovereign, and a few others are because they don't go through the App Store. And obviously, Gab's the big one. Gab, is, Gab and Gab TV are awesome. As soon as they get live streaming, uh, Shing has live stream, Shing, Shing.TV. As soon as Gab gets live streaming, man, it's just next level. Live streaming and monetization um, are the future of any platforms. And like you can have, like Shing blew up overnight. The thing is, um, they don't, they don't, those aren't sites aren't on the App Store. Um, Kanye would have been better off bringing attention to the need to have free speech on social media that it must be constitutionally protected because it's the new town square. Like if you're trying to sell a product, if you're trying to engage in commerce, if you're trying to run for office and you're not on, on mainstream social media, you're just not. Mike Barron just got his book um, censored off of uh, Twitter. I'm going to do a short video on that next. But if you're running for office um, and you're not on mainstream social media, you're just not getting elected. It's like, oh, so the mainstream gatekeepers, they control elections. Yep. Yes, yes. Like you have to say that and you have to really, really get that in your head and you go, oh, well, how come our representatives aren't doing anything to guarantee constitutional um, rights in this new di digital town square? How come our representatives aren't representing us? Well, I don't know. How come they're worth $100 million from insider trading? Because they don't they don't represent us. No, you don't get worth. So wait, you went into office with like a personal you know, net assets of, you know, almost nothing. Um, and then after off, if you come into office through insider trading, stock deals and business deals, you're worth like $20 million. How does, should, maybe we should not allow that. Maybe you should just get paid your salary and a, you know, um, and a nice retirement, but you should, you shouldn't be making, you shouldn't be worth $140 million, Nancy Pelosi or Bernie Sanders or Maxine Waters. I mean, these people shouldn't be worth this kind of money. Oh, they got it from insider trading, uh, trading on insider information or um, business deals based on insider information. Oh, but don't they have a fiduciary duty of due care to we, the people, the representative that to represent us in you know, good faith and fair dealing? Like, aren't there a constitutional provision? Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So what happened to all those, 
Well, we're very far away from all that kind of stuff. So it's end stage capitalism, end stage Weimar capitalism, whatever you want to call it. It's like capitalism or communism. It's the same people pulling, pulling the strings. End stage, yeah, end stage, uh, end stage something where they loot the treasury. Um, so anyway, Kanye could have. Uh, Let's talk about the Federal Reserve next and really get your channel channel banned. Um, Kanye should have been pushing for – like all these guys should have been pushing for protected speech on the, the platforms that are already available. The stuff like Truth Parlor Getter are just right-wing MAGA normie echo chambers. The solution wasn't have to, to have right or left-wing echo chambers but to have platforms for free – political speech which gab sovereign posts are with gab being by far the biggest gab is gab is awesome you can um i mean you can build up you can build up connections on gab slowly at first but then it balloons where like you just wouldn't and talk about honest th you know things honestly that you just you'd never get get there on twitter because they just kick you off before you hit like you know four thousand followers kanye has uh parlor trump's got truth but both are pointless and because they don't understand the nature of the beast they're dealing with or they don't want to understand it because, I mean, they're both bright guys. They don't want free speech. They're terrified of free speech. They want controlled speech. They want a free speech. They join Gab or create their own free speech platform right from the start. The mainstream right wing is not any different from the left wing. The open marketplace of ideas scares the hell out of both sides except for us. I don't know. I don't know what side we're on. We're not on the left or the right, but we're very much uh, engaging in that open marketplace. Trump has the option to go on Gab. People would have freaking loved it. Now, allegedly, Jared Kushner advised against it, but it had um, because it had free political speech, and that doesn't suit Kushner at all, of course. And it's Trump's fault for having Kushner as an advisor. You know, the frog that swims across the, the water with the scorpion. It's like you knew he was a scorpion when you picked him up. Kanye was right about Kushner. He is, he is a scorpion. But Trump allowed him in his house. So what does that make Trump? A very gullible, naive frog. Even when Trump set up Truth Social, he never said it was a free speech site. It's censored like Twitter. So what's the point where both the right and the left have special protected classes of all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others? Yeah, talk about China all you want. Okay. Are there any other places that are off limits? No, no. China, Russia, you know, whatever you want, whatever you want. Are, are you sure there's is there anything, anything that's off limits? Anything that'll get you censored or, or shadow banned or kicked off. Oh, well, but just let's just focus on China. Let's just focus on China and Russia. Okay, and I'm sure they I'm sure those are, you know, I'm sure those are interesting countries. I'm sure that's a big part of the story, but you know, anything else? Anything else we can talk about? Nope. Just focus on China. So either everything is on the table or you are gonna be controlled by those you can't criticize. We need free speech. So the right and the left can talk to each other without censorship from the platform itself. We don't need puppet masters controlling our speech. We need to build an entire a parallel economy or we don't try to censor people if we don't want to hear a viewpoint we can just unsubscribe from that that channel you don't need to tell other people what they may or may not what ideas they may or may not consume Kanye has a different way of looking at the world he's wondering why we need external censors to control us why has this censorship been allowed to continue for so long? And you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little messy to 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 fix things, but you know, it's gotta happen because the, the longer things get out of the whack, the harder it is to bring them back into whack without, you know, breaking a few eggs. If Elon Musk buys Twitter, and that is a, a big if, it's been in the works for a while now, um, then that destroys truth, getter, and parlor. Uh, and keep in mind that Twitter doesn't control Twitter so much. The Google and Apple app stores control they're the, the gateways to the phones or the tablets. Because um, for some reason, people just don't want to download the stuff from the sites themselves, which like is what we used to do. So that's a choke point. Uh, you could download it from the websites, but a lot of people are just not on board with that kind of thing. So the next option is to create a free speech app store. A note, I didn't say a MAGA app store. I said a free speech app store. The right wing um, needs to realize that it's time to start moving uh, to the right or start moving into some other direction because it's just moving to the left. Like you could create a um, – you could create a uh, – Elon Musk could create a free speech. I, I mean someone could do a lot of things if they really wanted free speech. To get away from these um, gatekeepers, like people are realizing the gatekeepers are Google and Apple for the App Store gatekeepers, and then some of the financial um, 
credit card processing processors, MasterCard and other and other the banks and financial companies are, are gatekeepers to free speech. Uh, but there are ways to get around that, and people are slowly getting around that to realize, yeah, we got it. We don't need Google, Apple, Bank of America, Chase Bank, Wells Fargo, and Mastercard, and, and you know these credit, these and PayPal. We don't need like these the, these people actually running the country. These NGOs secretly running, not so secretly running the country. We the people need to have we need a protected free speech across all social media platforms. There needs to be no political discrimination. You, you, we can't have companies secretly controlling the com the country. The the first the constitutional protections are more important than a billion dollar company. Yes, individual liberty. Uh, you, that's a free market capitalism. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we need to protect individual liberties much, much more so than we need to protect Google, Apple, um, Chase Bank, and Wells Fargo, and social media platforms. Yeah, yeah. Free speech. Yeah, the constitutional uh, First Amendment to the, the the structure that made the country such a great place that people from all over the world literally die to come in it. Yeah, yeah, we need to protect those things. Otherwise, we're just going to devolve into a second world and then a third world country where we have these puppet masters just openly ruling us. Oh, we're kind of getting already close to that. Anyway, uh, so check me out on Subscribestar if you can support over there or join the channel. And I'll see you guys next episode.